Hello guys, I'm Jazzy and I'm sorry for the late upload and um, in this video I'll be talking about Afrobeat in general, how to make Afrobeat and how I make my own beat actually. And um, if you noticed in my videos, I do start my beat with uh, my drums and percussions before going to my melody. And it just depends on the mode actually, but most of the time I start my beat with percussions. But some guys like starting with melodies, then drums and so on. And um, yeah, I'll try to make something fast and simple so you guys can just vibe with me and let's see. First of all, I'll change the BPM to um, let me say 98. Um, in most of Afrobeat, I don't know if you guys have noticed, they use the shaker a lot. It's the one thing Afro shaker. They use it a lot in Afrobeat, so. So, um, for the drums, I, I'll make it to be as simple as possible. Now this is a cool groove. Um, one of the most important thing in Afrobeat is um, I like making my beat a limiter. One of the most important thing in Afrobeat is the swing that we add to Afrobeat. It's very important. It keeps the groove going. So um, I will add some swing to to this drum now and you will feel the difference in the drum groove now. On FL Studio it's easier, you can just like turn the shuffle or the swing knob up. On Ableton you can just load it up in the groove pool then adjust your timing and so on. So I made this groove myself so I'm using it. So I have the rim going on, then I can add my congas. Got another one here, um, probably here. That's nice. Yeah, that's a nice bounce there. So I'll add the groove to it also. Nice. So I want to layer the rim. Yeah, this is cool. I'll 
just copy and paste that clip sound then add groove nice now I'm going to add my kick I'll make the kick um, very simple kick I love this kick because it's loud and thumpy this is nice I'll add my swing again I'll change this um, to make it softer So in Afrobeat, um, there are some sounds that are very important in Afrobeat. You can basically use any sound because sound that you you can basically use any sounds, but things are kind of changing now. So I will try to like um, come up with like a chord progression. Normally I would have used sample, but for this tutorial, I will try to come up with like a chord. I think that's a nice progression. Nice. Bum. but I will change the sound because this sounds horrible I'm going to make it like strong then this which is it So this and I will change the key of this, not comfortable, bring it like three semitones down. Nice. I think that's cool. 
Um, that's cool, but I'll change the notes. Then our our the swing. Nice. So I want to add like a bass now to to go with this. Um This bass line makes any sense, bro. So I'll lay it with the sub just to carry the low end, man. I don't think this beat is working, I'll just use this song. So I'm going to add this Koto sound. Let's see. I think I like the last thing I played. Um, even though I don't think it makes any sense, man. Let's see. I need to change this. I don't like this this particular sound. Whack. Nice.
yeah the beat is really done now and um yeah that's just how to make an afro beat just make it as simple as possible so artists will be able to flow on it very well but make it interesting also so i'll play the beat one more time and yeah peace out guys thanks for watching the video and subscribe for more videos peace out